All right, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. So, <laughs> the, forbi the Forgotten Crossroads are uh, a lot more dangerous now. Wow, I've been playing for 15 hours. I guess that makes sense. Not super sure. There doesn't seem to be any real clear indication of like, oh, I definitely need to go here next with my new powers. So I'm just going to kind of explore around, see where there is to go. Nice to see you, Mobius. Welcome. Ah, uh, yeah, you missed, you missed the dancing penguins again. That's okay. The dancing penguins will always be back. I don't intend on changing that anytime soon. So I think what I'm going to do... Um, city storerooms. I think this is the rainy station. I'm going to go back to the, the rainy castle area, because I think there was at least one part of the tower I hadn't gone to yet. <laughs> you got 40 hours? Well, I mean, that's... I, again, I don't know how long this game is. I might only be at, like, the halfway point. I have no real way of knowing. Oh, that's right! It's the little Hollow Knights that follow me now! Oh, yeah! I'm so excited. I'm just gonna have to get used to that sound effect. Okay. Yeah, all the way down to the lower right, it looks like there's more stuff to explore over there. <laughs> Time to rain on my little parade. I actually really like rain, so... Dane, you go, little guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the, the, the little Hollow Knights that you spawn are kind of really, really good. That was an Arthur quote I just made. Well, about 50% of the quotes that I make are from Arthur, whether people know it or not. <laughs> hey, 2DX Vision, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you as well. Yeah, I don't know about where you guys are, but over here in Michigan, it is really warm this week. It's like almost in the 80s, which is... I'm not going to say unheard of. But it's it, it's a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one is how I'm looking at it. <laughs> that didn't last too long. All right, there's. Oh, nope, no, oh, nope, nope. I wanted the elevator to go down. I said I wanted it to go down. <laughs> So it looks like there's there's supposed to be a secret hallway over here. Or is it the hallway down here? Uh... Let's see. <laughs> Whatever's supposed to say nice until Thursday. Oh, that's right. I can't go through here because the way is blocked. I'll have to fall and find a way around. Oh, yeah. I imagine it's hot in Arizona. I can't think off the top of my head with the... You know what the nicest thing I've done for my mom? It's not really one thing, but, uh... It's growing up to be a responsible adult with a good job who's independent on his own. That That's living proof that she did a good job raising me. Maybe that's a cop-out answer, but... You know what? I feel like in the long run, that's what parents want the most. Oh yeah, I've got some seals for you for, uh, to sell. Item sold. Yep, that's another Hollowness seal, all right. The shop will be overflowing of these soon. Gah, I'd never guessed so many would still be lying around. If they're as common as you make them seem, maybe I've been offering too much for them. I was wondering if he was going to lower the price. <laughs> there you go. Another Hollowness seal. Pass it over, then. Oh, he's not even giving me any more stuff on it. A Hollowness seal? You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep it at it, I'll worry I'll run out of space for the shop. And it looks like you don't have any relics on you. But I got money. Which I actually don't really need now. At least... <laughs> I hope I'm past the point of becoming a man. I'm 25 years old, almost 26. If I'm not a man now, something's seriously wrong. Oh, look, a lot of us playing Hollow Knight as well. Mmm, pretty fountain. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. I thought I was Hollow Knight. In the black vault far above, a fruit sacrifice Hollow Nest lasts eternal. I thought I was Hollow Knight. Black Egg Temple added to the map. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> you ate dinner for 40 years? Yeah, you know? Your grandpa's not wrong. 
Ow! My forehead. I guess the downside of having the little Hollow Knight guys around is I don't get as much soul as I normally would. Because they're killing things for me. Hmm... I wonder how high up I can go. I know I got stopped by those spikes, but maybe if I just... Okay, maybe not. What if I super grover? Oh, ow, my bottom! Okay, maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe I should just go to the right. Yeah, I think I am... I think I, I'm still, like... The whippersnapper here in chat. <laughs> I'm still a yunnin compared to some of y'all. Same way, same thing in my small group. Like, I'm still the youngest guy in the small group, even though it's it was started as a young adult small group, but now I'm 25 and still the youngest person there. And I think I've mentioned it before, but um, I don't look 25. I look like I'm still 16. I really... I've only had, like, four different ages in my life. Like, I've been a toddler, I've been, like, an elementary school student, then I skipped straight to high school student at 16, and then, uh... Yeah, it's been that way ever since. <laughs> not not complaining, mind you. It means I'm gonna age phenomenally well, and I'll be, like, 60, and it's like, wow, you look like you're 45. Small group is, um... Bible study, I guess you could call it. But some churches call them small group! Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Because he can kill me in one hit. So I'm going to rely on my little... I don't like this one bit. Ugh. No. No. Won't let me wall jump. Oh no, my guys have stopped spawning. Oh no! That's not good. I knew that was going to happen. I couldn't get out of there. Well, that's fun. Oh, I also lost a lot of money doing that. Well, if I, if I skip straight to Wyvern with a cane, that, that reflects my mental age. Because I have been described as having a very old soul. Again, not something I'm upset about. It means I'm wise beyond my years. Or something like that. Or maybe it means I'm stupid, because I think I should be doing old people things when I'm not old. Um, you don't have to watch. You definitely do not have to watch the Spy Fox 1 and 2 Let's Plays to understand free. Each Spy Fox game is very self-contained. And also my Spy Fox 1 Let's Plays back before I knew how to record stuff properly. So, it's, it's your decision. <laughs> the Mega Chonk. <laughs> Oh, nope, I don't want to go in the sewers, actually. No, I don't want to go in the sewers. Keep bouncing on the fat guy's head? Maybe. Can can fat guy attack above himself with horizontal slashes? Ow. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Okay, I'm, I'm, see I'm starting to see the downsides of having the little guys follow you around. Not being able to heal as often is definitely annoying. Ooh. 
Well, that was fun. I'm not sure how practical that was, though. Hmm. Oh no, my flying guys are left behind. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me later. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I, it really seemed like the big guard guy could attack in any direction. Ow! Nice shot. Oh, there was a bench nearby. Okay, cool. I got my money back. Not sure if I'll need it, but... Ouch. Ow. He hits hard. There we go. And we open up a shortcut to nowhere. Cool. Although, I guess that does let me escape. That's nice. Aha! Parkour! Alright. It says there's a bench this way. Oh, there actually genuinely is a bench this way. Should have definitely sat on that before I fought the guys. I thought it was going to be one of those fake bench signs that takes you to a really hard mini-boss. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Really? Wacha! Okay, this screams I'm suspicious. And I know there's a way to get through it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, don't be greedy is just good life advice in general. But yeah, for, for games like this, it's especially helpful. Well, I would expect nothing less Simpsons are us than you having a lot of Simpsons alerts. And there are some good Simpsons quotes, to be sure. I have toyed with the idea of adding as an as alert, Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Which is a line so famous, even I have heard of it. Be attack. Oh, is it that simple? Okay. Why not just use the door? Ah, uh, they don't... They don't make benches like they used to, that's true. See, I'm already sounding like the old man. Back in my day... Okay, maybe I don't want to fight him right now. That might actually be... A Bad idea. Oh, that's gonna summon an elevator. Except the elevator's already here. Ouch. It was very rude of you. Oh, great. My friend is coming here. Oh, no. Nope. I mean, if I do die here, it's not a big deal. That's... There was a bench nearby. Maybe I should have deposited money in the bank before doing this. But I had to come over here to get all the money anyways, so... Nah, I think we're fine. I think everything's fine. Grandma!
Did I unequip getting the get extra will? Because it definitely feels like I'm getting way less will, even from generic attacks. So I'm, I'm hmm. <laughs> That's true. I just can't find a clean rip of that anywhere I go. I can only find rips of Japan. I can only find rips of Japanese Simba's voice, which is not the same, because I can't understand it. And I don't want people thinking I'm a weeb. Ouch. That hurt. What do you mean I can't heal? I get a great tool for maxing the bank? I don't know if I believe that. Oh, hey, shortcut! Oh, beautiful. I've been waiting for that one. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take the elevator. Have I been here before? No, I have not. Maybe there's a bench around here. No, the Mega Chonks don't share their cookies. And speaking of cookies, I bought cookies tonight. Because I have no impulse control at all. <laughs> That's something I think I need to work on, is my self-control. Ah, thank you, my friends. Still barely am getting any will, though. I must have unequipped the pin that gives me extra will. Oh, hey, there you go, little grubby! You're free! I haven't paid a visit to the Grubfather in a while. I should probably do that before this stream is over. Marty's not living with me, so I'm on my own. It's me who you have to worry about taking five cookies. You know, I mean, that's true. As an adult, you do get to decide when you do and do not eat cookies. But the other thing about being an adult is when you get fat and get diabetes and die an early death because you ate too many cookies, it's your fault. <laughs> Uh-oh. Boss fight time. Oh, no. Not orange. I hate the color orange now. Oh, hey! It's the first boss again, but tougher, I'm guessing. Oh, no. He's pulling... This is, this is giving me Donkey Kong Country boss vibes for some reason. Ow. Oh! There was a second one. <laughs> There's another! <laughs> that was one of the most ominous fiends you have typed, Proxima. <laughs> I assume you're making a joke about me dying a lot in this game, but... <laughs> that could also be taken as a threat. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be the cookies that will cause you to die early. <laughs> There's something else coming your way. <laughs> it's gonna be aliens. Oh, that's right, I might have... Hmm. I, I'm joking. I know he didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I don't like the color orange, 
because it reminds me of a certain boss in this game that was orange that caused me a bit of trouble. This boss is a huge... Is it, okay, the way I... I'm not going to say it can't be worse than the one I fought than the Lost Kin, but it's probably not going to be that bad. But yes, I, I'm expecting tough bosses at this point. Uh-oh, my ex-wife is calling. Yeah, I don't I don't really care about fighting you anymore. Oh, wait, I went to the wrong room again. The, the, I, the boss reminds me of something, with, like, the giant spiked ball that's bouncing up and down. It definitely reminds me of a boss I've encountered before. I'm trying to remember what it is. I guess I'm getting some slight vibes from the, the Oracle of Seasons mini-boss from the un uh, Unicorn's Cave. The saber-toothed tiger guy. Okay. So, I'm guessing there will eventually be a point where a bunch of these guys will have come to life. Okay, so now another one is alive. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is nasty. Oh, yuck. Okay, I really hope there isn't going to be more than two of them at a time. Because, wow, dodging both of them at the same time is going to be tough enough. But this is a unique fight. I like this. Um. Yeah, sorry, I can't read Twitch chat and play an action-packed boss fight at the same time. Did I see the bad guys? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Animated movie? No, I have not seen that, then. Oh, I didn't... Got a sp Oh, I get it. Okay, I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's a good pun. <laughs> Volleyball spike! No, you should be proud of that one. I, I always appreciate bad puns. So this might this is gonna be what we're doing this video. Okay, they bounce lower with each okay, when they do the spike ball bounce. Oh! Oh you can take okay, if you take them out. Okay, maybe not. That might have thrown my entire theory out the window. Okay. I thought I had taken one out and knocked him out of the action, but no, that was just... Okay. Mm. okay. Before I proceed, I'm going to change my pins around. So I don't need the compass. I do not... Let's see. I don't need Gathering Swarm, either. Okay. No, I do... Okay, I don't think I want the Womb, either. Because it's, that's messing up my ability to gain soul, so I definitely want the Balder Shield. That's gonna be a must for this fight. What else? I can only... Can I only equip one more? Oh, no, I can equip... Okay. So there's no limit to the amount of... 
There's no limit to the amount of pins you can... It's just you're limited on the notches. Okay. Becoming vulnerable for longer. That could be nice. Increases power of spells. Maybe. Increases... The, the long nail could be alright. That's not going to be good. Dream nail... Allows you to charge it faster and collect more soul when striking foes. Oh, another one? That could be good. Allows you to heal faster. Ooh. Yeah, I'll unequip Steady Body. I'll get that one. Okay. Let's try this. I like Gathering Swarm, but again, he was he was preventing me from getting as much soul as I would like. And being able to heal frequently is going to be essential. Ow, that's not nice. I know it's Hollow Knight, but you could be nice. Yeah, the problem is Quick Focus just, it takes three notches, so that's a lot. But it definitely sounds good. I hope this isn't going to be like the Lost Kin all over again. But you never know. This is going to take some finagling to get the pattern down. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's like half the time you would normally spend healing. Okay, no, no, I am taking them. Oh, wait, are there three of them now? Okay, this is a toughie. Okay, I only have to deal with two of them at a time, but every time I kill one, another one spawns in. Yikes, okay, this is a nightmare of a fight. Yow, alright, yeah, this is gonna take some... Mm. Definitely glad I equipped the shield and the quip focus. That's going to be essential for this fight. Yikes. Yeah, this is one chaotic fight, for sure. I'm, I'm trying to kind of put the pieces together. I'm like, is it best to keep... Okay, I'm very annoyed by that guy constantly getting the swipe on me. I'm still trying to figure out if the best way of dealing with this is to keep them separated on opposite ends of the course or to keep them right next to each other. I'm leaning towards keeping them right next to each other. When was the last time I saw an animated movie? Like, in the movie theaters? Uh, Frozen 2. With my family.
Yikes. Yeah. The problem is when they both do the spike ball move at the same time. Oh, man. But if I can get them both like that... Man, when they... If you get them off... If they're on the same sync synchronization, then it's not too bad. But if you get them off sync, oof. It can be annoying. But I think I'm getting into a kind of pattern. Thank you, shield. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, that was... There was no real way out of that one. Is that it? Yeah, that was definitely a lot easier than the Lost Will. Unless there's a second... Ooh. That guitar riff, though. That was good. Yeah, the quick focus definitely helps for that one. Give me my prize. Oh, a hollow nest seal. Oh man, I have to pick up my own Geo. Boo. That's a lot of... That's a dangerously high amount of money. Woo! Okay, that, that boss was definitely tricky, but he was fun. I definitely enjoyed that battle. Okay. Going up. <laughs> up and out. Do, 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 do. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, that can't be the only thing that was there, right? Oh, there, I knew that there's more than one. I bet if I destroy all of them, something good will happen. Aha! Uh -huh. Sleep beckons eternal, and these words become my last. Though my gaze shall no longer fall upon this city, I will act forever at its protect in its protection. For Keen, for Bug, for Hollow Nest, I head now to my rest. Interesting. I'm not going to say anything's easier than the Lost Kin, because, again, Lost Kin is still not the hardest boss I've ever fought. But he's definitely annoying. He's definitely the hardest boss in this game that I've fought. Hurry up! Spent a lot of time getting that lore reveal. Oh, a telescope! Ooh, that's that's pretty. Got the shadowy bugs falling, flying around, but I'm waiting for the sand person to pop up in front of the telescope. I'm sure nobody's dead up here. Oh wait, somebody might be dead up here. A sleeping figure lays atop the snow stone plinth, 
He's sparkling. I can soul saber him, but last time I tried that, I got my butt kicked. But there's nothing else up here, so... Cha! This place is pretty. Ooh, it's a light hole. Oh, hey, it's No Face. For keen beloved. Sure, bro. Uh, did I miss something? Was I supposed to hit him more? My keen beloved. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to hit him more. Hold A to focus. Ooh. Watcher. I knew that freaking egg was going to hatch. Well, it looks like that's only one of three. I see. So there's still more. Okay, so I'm a third of the way through the game. Cool. Probably more than that. I probably... It's probably not going to take me as long to reach each of the others, but still. Doesn't exactly fill me with determination. Uh... That's what... You know, it, sometimes if you go to get... Oh, wait. I could fall down here. Geronimo! Yeah, sometimes if you go to get away food, then, uh, you miss something. Let's see, was there anything else that I missed over here? You know, he had it coming to him, because he sparkled. If you sparkle, that's screaming, I want you to kill me. That's why I don't touch glitter. Plus, glitter just gets everywhere, and stays everywhere, and it never ever comes out. <laughs> Cowabunga it is! Boop, boop. If I ever, if I ever have daughters, sorry, ladies, but um, you're not bringing glitter into my house. <laughs> You'll never get it out. Oh yeah, I unequipped the compass, so I don't really know where I am. Because as, in case you didn't know, Artie has zero sense of direction. Like in real life, I am the worst person in the world for directions. I can drive somewhere, like, every day for 40 years, but then if my, the main way I take is, like, closed, I cannot find another way. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like the ants in a bug's life, just like, I'M LOST! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's re-equip that and the gathering swarm. However, I'm gonna keep that quick, quick focus, that was really good. My goodness, yes it was. Alright. Let's head back to the subway. I gotta deposit some money in the bank. Glitter's kind of pretty, but again, not worth having it in your house for all eternity. Oh. DX. It doesn't matter if the glitter's contained. It will find a way to escape. It's like, oh, it's like it's a ball, but it's it's full of glitter. But don't worry, the ball is sealed shut. It'll never. F no, it won't. No, it's not. The ball will puncture, and then glitter will get in places you never even thought imaginable. 
And then 15 years later, when you're remodeling your bathroom, you're like, is this glitter behind the toilet from that one time there was a glitter ball? Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, that is the same glitter. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything. Definitely not. Alright. I gotta deposit my vast amounts of wealth. <laughs> Hold on. Getting cat hair everywhere is entirely different from getting glitter everywhere. For one, cat hair is easier to get rid of, although it's difficult, but not impossible. And if cat hair gets everywhere, that's just a sign that there was a lot of love. Hello, Grandma. Hello, Dicky dearie. Yes, I would like to deposit my max possible balance. Okay. So I'm actually a decent way towards the max balance. Oh, wow, I have the... I can deposit exactly as much money as I have in there. That's fantastic. Goodbye, then. Stay safe. Well, that, that just means that there's a lot of love between you and your cats. And I think that's beautiful. When I, when I get my own place, I will be getting a cat. Maybe two. We'll have to see. Okay, I don't know if this is wrong crossroads. I still have no idea how the freak to get the green path. Or, like, to get to that one hallway in the green path area. Okay, apparently this counts as fungal waste. Hmm. Oh yeah, the ancient basin. I don't think I've explored that much of. But if we take a look at this map over here. Okay, the waterways cut cut off over there, so I could explore more of that. I actually have explored pretty much all of the palace grounds. Oh, there's also still more in the, the crystal area. Not the crystal area. Well, maybe the crystal area. I can't keep track of all these names. Let's go back to the city storerooms. Ah, <laughs> oh, ha ha, ha ha. Ah, oh, I love the puns. <laughs> well, cats are, like, mostly nocturnal. There's a reason that cats spend so much of their time sleeping. They're usually more active at night. <laughs> Has anyone seen that awesome video of, like, what your cats do at night? Where, like, the, these cat owners, like, put in, like, night vision cameras in their house and recorded their cats just, like, running around at night. It's fantastic. And it's definitely not a video that I discovered existed at, like, 2 a.m. At, at night. Also, ow my hiney. Oh no! You explode. I remember that. <laughs> Perry the Platypus, you ate your own hiney? <laughs> that, yeah. The fact that I can take an out of context quote like that and just be like, oh, that's Phineas and Ferb, I just know that. <laughs> Maybe says something about my life. <laughs> Let's be honest, who here hasn't woken up at 3 a.m. and is just like, I can't sleep. You know what I need in order to progress with my life? Peanut butter. And you just, like, grab the jar. You don't even put, like, crackers or anything on it. No, you just get the jar of peanut butter and start eating it straight. And you're just like, yes, I can sleep now. I'm pretty sure that's happened to every human being who's on the planet. Even even those who lived before peanut butter was invented. They just had insomnia, and they're like, I can't sleep. It's like, well, that's because you need peanut butter, and it hasn't been invented yet. True story. Well, and if you, and if you're out there and allergic to peanuts, well, sorry, but you're just gonna have insomnia occasionally. 
<laughs> no, you can't say that's ever happened. Oh. Am I the weird one? <laughs> I'm not saying this happens frequently, but like... It's happened, I think, before. Dipping them in Ritz crackers is acceptable. Ritz crackers are the bomb. As long as they're not those stupid Ritz crackers that have cheese in them. Ugh. And I use cheese in very loose quotes. Okay, no, I guess it's just me. All right. <laughs> I'm going to, like, I'm going to end this stream, and then I'm just going to get a text from Marty, like, Artie, you ate peanut butter at 3 a.m. before. It's like, one time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you do things in college that you normally wouldn't do otherwise. Gonna have to clear my head. We'll be back soon. If you have something you absolutely must sell, come find me in the Fountain Square. Oh, he closed up shop. Hey, Beardy. Oh, what are you doing out in this miserable downpour? Impressive fountain, isn't it? I'm sure we'd be able to appreciate it more if we weren't both getting drenched. That night up there was an important one. The plaque here mentions its sacrifice, which carries something of an ominous tone. Probably met some horrible at sort of end, and though it sounds like the knight's goal may have been achieved in the process. In all the relics I've collected, I've yet to find a clue as to what that was. Oh, well, I killed his soul. That's weird. Well, I did. <laughs> Alright, gotta progress a little bit. Yeah, that's an impressive beard. Like, I... <laughs> I can't grow a good beard. I believe the facial hair I'm capable of growing is what people call a neck beard, and I don't like associating with the negative stereotypes of that. Nor does it look good on me. So, I just stay clean-shaven. That might be part of the reason why I look like I'm 16 years old. Oh, that's right. It's this area that's filled with... I'm just gonna ignore the guards, because they're way too big of a pain in the butt to kill. I'm just gonna hang out over here. Oh, hey, you're guarding a little wormy. Like, squirmy. Oh, man, he closed the door behind him. Tardiness hurts us all, McSquirmy! Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the... That right there is the epitome of guy talk. I like crackers. What kind? Square. <laughs> Wait, crackers come in kinds? Pretzel goldfish? Do pretzel goldfish count as crackers? They're pretzels. But they're based off of a beloved cracker. <laughs> like, we all agree that like, goldfish crackers are crackers, but pretzel goldfish are kind of an anomaly. Like, are they crackers? Could go either way. I just don't know. Ow. That was rude. I'm gonna say it's kind of in one of those gray areas where if someone calls them a cracker, I'm not gonna correct them. But if they say they're not crackers, I, I understand it. <laughs> the snack that smacks back, goldfish. I love pie-flavored pie. I guess that's true, though. Like, it's like, I made, I, like, hey, you want some pie? It's like, asking what kind it is is kind of important, because it could be like, oh, it's apple pie. It could be like, oh, it's like mixed berry pie. Or it could be like, oh, it's like cheese and herring pie. It's like, those are three com entirely different foods. And I'm going to be in the mood for one, and definitely not in the mood for another. <laughs> Mud pies are bad, but they're not as bad as cow pies. Ooh. 
Normally, I would just say, ha I, I trick, I cheated death. I don't have to go back in there, but, um, my money's in here. So I do have to go back in here. Oh, wait, but because I already freed the grub, oh, I can leave! Cool, I don't even have to fight that guy. He's like, ha ha, I bested you. He's like, yeah, you did. I I'll give you that one. Oh. A door with a simple lock. Oh, yeah! I forgot I have a simple key. <laughs> Tastes like a sandwich. Very, very descriptive. Songstress Marissa. A voice to ease all burdens and still all troubled minds. Cool. Wonder when she's playing her concert. Dang, that's a long elevator shaft. It was still moving. Oh, hey. Cool. Now we can summon the elevator back. Ooh, what's this? A wanderer's journal. Of course. You know, it's better than a rancid egg. Actually, do I still have a bunch of rancid eggs? I do. I have ten rancid eggs. I have not found a use for them yet. That's okay. I'm sure we'll find a very useful place to get them in the future. It's like, oh, to defeat, to defeat the final boss of the game, you need 15 rancid eggs. The final boss is like an indestructible god, but like he just hates the smell of, of rotten eggs. So you have to take a bunch of rotten eggs and make an egg salad sandwich with them, and he's just like, I want to die! <laughs> that's, how, that's what I would do if I was making the game. What kind of milk makes me gag? Yes. Yeah, rancid omelet. That's if you want to show off. Pleasure house? No thank you. No thank you. This sounds bad. I don't want to be here. Oh, the hot springs. Is that a bed? Oh, it's, it's, it's a bench. That works. Thank goodness. What's so bad about this place? Pleasure House so makes it sound like it's a brothel. That's what's bad about it. Oh, let's sit and listen to the fairy. This is the stream now, guys. I love how you can literally just sit. <laughs> There's not even a bench. It's just like, sit and listen to the pretty songs. Welcome to my stage, little one. I am Marissa, a songstress of some renown. Though given the sorry state of this place, you may find it hard to believe. Huge crowds once flocked to hear me sing, and then something changed. The audience, once so enramped, began to leave. I continued to sing, yet my voice fell silent upon their ears. Perhaps you'd care to listen to me sing? You'll be the first in an age to hear it. Aw. It is, it is like the Hollow Knight version of the Great Fairy Fountain from Zelda, and I love it. It's very soothing. Even if only you, it's a wonderful thing to have an audience again. Ah, she's so nice. Uh oh, she may be competing for the title of best girl. Oh, that that you know that's that's a fair point, Proxima. The only the only game the only Zelda game I can think of where the Great Fairy actually does seem kind of cute is Wind Waker, and even then, your mileage may vary on that. I think the Great Fairy in Wind Waker is kind of beautiful. Okay, that that was a little bit of a shrill voice there. Yeah, she's she's got four arms, but she wears a nice dress. I 
I don't feel good about that. <laughs> I'm viewing that as... I've, I've absorbed her soul into my blade, and now I'll hear her singing wherever I go. It's like, you, you just killed this innocent songstress. You are getting the bad ending of the game now. Hey, it was the N64. It was a different time. Everything is polygony. Polygony, that's a word. It's very polygonal. I'm definitely not just trying to justify my murder of her. I mean, she was already dead, so... I mean... It's not like my character has really cared about people's safety or well-being at all. Except for that one girl we saved, who now she's in love with us. That was different. I hate this room! Bad. Is this all there is? Polygony! I'm sticking with it. Oh my gosh, is this another subway station? There, okay, there probably is more, but I gotta go to- Oh, it's King Station! Of course, there's Queen Station, so obviously there has to be King Station. This is literally King's Cross Station. Okay, get out of here, you stupid stag beetle. I'll go back after I unlock the station. <sighs> How much is it going to be to open up the subway? Oh, cool, I have enough. I was expecting it to be, like, 500. No one breaks their here we go! Oh, many stag stations have been opened. Again, I can travel the breadth of the kingdom. So many grand thoroughfares and old sideways I've forgotten. Somewhere amongst the lines lies the stag nest, the place where I was born and raised. I thought its location lost to my failing mind, but now I can almost remember the path. If you keep opening stag stations and beckoning me through them, perhaps I'll find that nest again. I would like that very much. I wonder if that's a bonus dungeon. Oh. Oh, that looked like it was going to be solid ground. No, I bet I bet you could go farther up. Ah, I knew it. That right there is like a Metroid style puzzle. It's like, oh, don't you know there's just an invisible way through here? Um, I like hamburgers best, actually. Oh no! They ruined the stag station! How could you? Boo! Actually, for my nephew's birthday, uh, his grandpa on his mom's side made burgers and hot dogs. They were so good! Like, I, I'm not really one for hot dogs. I've kind of lost my taste for hot dogs over the years. But, like, doggone it, those hot dogs looked good. Part of it is he has a smoker, and he knows how to use it, so... Mm, mm. Alright. Let's go back to that house that was apparently not actually a dead end. Ow, that wasn't nice. Hi cha ba doom ba doom boom. Good night, Glad of War. Thanks for joining in. Okay, this is the wrong house. Aha! Is this like a guy who has a hot water bottle on his head? Woohoo! Wow, that's a lot of money. Oh, there is more. Maybe. 
maybe not. Okay, it looked like there was a tunnel that you could go up. Just a fancy hat? Okay. That was tricky, because you had to jump in order to get that, but jump just slightly. He reminds me of Redacted Enemy from, uh, Ocarina... Not Ocarina of Time, Oracle of Seasons. Why couldn't I wall jump up that? Is it because I did a double jump? No, I guess you just can't do go up there. I find that annoying, because I want to go up there. Why can't I go through here? Hmm. Perhaps I have explored everything over in this area. Let's go back to Stag Station Central. I suppose if I wanted to max out my bank, I could just explore around the Forgotten Crossroads. Because the enemies there give me a lot of money now. Also, I can try moving up higher in here. Wow, I have 600 money again. See, there's like a little shadow at the top that makes it implies that I can go somewhere, but maybe not. Hmm. Let's go back to Dirt Mouth. Maybe there's more stuff there. Artie is Artie can change form whenever he wants. He's an ink blot. He can grow hands when he needs to wave. My concept for Artie came before Inkling was a thing. White Wanderer, don't be shy. Cold outside, bed is soft. Uh, we're not advanced enough in our relationship for that to be an option. Oh, that's right, I read her diary already. The more you know. Have I bought everything here? Bakuba Geo? No, I have a mask shard left. Well, I can buy that after I fill up the bank. How? I think I bought everything at Bakanada, right? But we can hear it again for old time's sake. <sighs> Bakanada. Yep, cleaned up and even worth selling. I did not want to launch that. Bakuba Geo? Hum a diddly bum, ba dum ba dum ba dum. All right, now where to? N oh, okay. Is it my? Oh, let's pay the egg a visit because, like, one of the seals on the egg has been broken. So maybe it's like, oh, don't know, no, no, not the egg. The egg's starting to hatch. I knew that freaking egg was going to hatch throughout the story. I just knew it. I freaking knew it. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a demon icon on the map now. Fun. Okay. If we go to our map... Okay. I guess we could go to the sewers. Sewers might not be a bad place to go back to. Because I think the crystal area, by and large, we can't... Yeah. I think at this point it's... <laughs> it's nerf or nothing. And by nerf, I mean the sewers. I always forget I can use the Super Grover Dash just for overworld travel. Uh, 
Um, you say sewers are fun. I have kind of have had video game sewer levels uh, spoiled to me forever because of Frogger, he's back. One of those PC games that I grew up playing. Love that game, but doggone it, the sewer world in that is the worst. Looks like I could break through there. I guess. I mean, the sewer levels in Mario Sunshine were just, like, shortcuts that you could use to move throughout the levels. Hey, the guy's not here at the phone anymore. Oh yeah, we can sell more stuff to the guy. Because we got more stuff. Here's the Wanderer's Journal. Another Wanderer's Journal, eh? This journal is of the traditional stone type. Text endures well upon it. In its declining age, this city switched from stone to parchment woven of spider silk. It's a small tragedy, but the moisture in these towers has rendered most of those texts ineligible. Tell me what you need. A hollow nest seal. You're a talented collector, all right. The best I've met. If you keep at it, I worry I'll run out of space in the shop. I actually might be able to max out my bank now. It gets hot in Michigan. I mean, well, oh yeah, I should specify. If you're in Arizona, it does not get Arizona levels of hot. But it gets to, like, 90s on the hot summer days. Alright. We're here in the sewers, but at least we have the light now. The writing on the walls in the sewers, I think I've mentioned this before, it really reminds me of Yoshi's Island. The chalkboard drawings, okay. Nice try. Not blowing me up today. Uh, who said that? <laughs> kind of gives you <laughs> the shining vibes. I hope this guy's a friend. And not someone who's luring me to my death. This is a boss arena. He was luring me to my death. Done, Defender! Oh, this guy's done. Are we fighting on a pile of poop? Because that's not cool. That's right. Not if you stun the boss, you can uh, you can heal. Oh no! This is the bouncing pill bug again. That's okay. This guy seems significantly easier than the boss we fought earlier.
Ouch. <laughs> He's very hammy. It's hammier than the last prosciutto I ate. Oh no! I got beaten by a poopy man. Oh, all the poop puns. Oh no! How far away am I from poop man? I'm a very far way away from poop man. Great. Ugh. Keep keep the done puns coming. These are these are great. <laughs> I can't, I can't rank them as the best puns I've ever heard, but I'll rank them as a number two. I get the gra- oh, I'm not supposed to be here. This is a shaft. Without an elevator. No, we don't. Oh, no, if I put in an alert for every time I make a bad pun, that'll be just nothing but... That'll be the only thing that plays. I have not played Conquer, but I am familiar with the Great Mighty Pooh. He's not a boss that I look up to. Wilhelm's scream could be good, I admit. And my friend Miss Hero has definitely recommended that to me. Let's get the bench in here before we die to Stinky Boy again. That's I for so fun fact in playing Earthbound. So when you at the beginning of the game where you you're like naming everything, where it's like name the characters, and you can put don't care. So I knew Ness and Paula and Jeff from Smash Bros. So I physically typed in their names because I'm like, yeah, I want them to have their original names. And then it came to name the fourth character, and I'm like, oh, I don't know this character. So I'm like, I I don't care. And I hit the don't care button, and then it said, okay, his name is Pooh. And I'm like, okay, I know for a fact that's not his name. So I'm like, no. And then it's like, all right. And I hit it again, then it's like, okay, Aziz. I'm like, that's probably his name. I did not realize his name actually genuinely was Pooh. And not even P-O-O-H, like Winnie the Pooh, but no. Ooh. I, I just had so I just had so much hope that I'm like, okay, I know that someone as intelligent as the people making this game would not name one of their main characters Pooh. That's just in bad taste. Oh, no more introduction, we just go straight to the fight. Don Defender! Yeah, if it had been the Asian spelling of poo. I love how, like, happy and proud he seems to be. Like, haha, I'm the poop boss. And I'm like this, like, triumphant, like, elegant medieval music. It's like, aha, uh -huh, he's the poop boss. This guy's not too bad, though. Oh, <laughs> 
Alright, he's beating his chest again, so... Second phase, maybe? I mean, if you want to just keep doing this over and over again, I'm cool with... Oh, there we go. He's got some impressive range with the poop balls. Ali up! It sounds like he's saying Alibaba. Ho ho. Oh wow. Yeah, he was he was easy. <laughs> I know I died to him earlier, but like so. Anur. What did he be? In? The Defender's Crest. I was expecting a pin that's poop related, to be honest. Well, now we'll flush that down the drain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he sounds like MC Ballyhoo from Mario Party 8. A little bit, yeah. Ha oh, ha ha! Forgot about that guy. Hot take Mario Party 8, if they wanted a carnival guy like that to be the host, they should have had the host be Chuck Quizmo from Paper Mario. Mario Party 8, as far as Mario Parties go, was actually pretty good. The mini games in that were pretty fun. But again, it's the party mode where fiends get stinky. Although it did have Shy Guys Perplex Express, which is probably top five Mario Party boards. One of those cards where it seems very simple, but it's actually not. I can kind of appreciate that. Take a lesson, Peach's birthday cake. It's like, you know what, of course, literally everybody who ever played Mario Party hated? Peach's birthday cake. I know, let's bring that back in the best of Mario Party games. What could go wrong? Everyone will love it. I, I You know, I think we've all typed some things tonight that we'll regret. I love the fact that I saved Poop Man for a until after the Lost Kin. Oh man, imagine if they had made the Brutal Bonus boss a Poop-themed boss. That would have really stunk. Then it's like, not only am I be getting my butt handed to me, but I'm getting my butt handed to me by a Poop-themed boss. The ultimate shame. Spaceland for Mario Party 2? That is actually, I believe, the only Mario Party 2 course I have not played alongside Bowser Land. Because you need to play on Space Land to unlock Bowser Land. Again, I contend the only Mario Party game that's actually kind of okay is 5. And it's larger just because 5 has Sweet Dream. Which, even if it's not great, it has a great theming, so I can excuse it. Oh man, double jump's gonna make this area a lot more manageable. That is an accurate sentence. Oh hey, I flushed the water away! There was usually boiling water here before. But I beat Mr. Poop, and so here we are. Doggone it! Stop making enemies that just explode on you. Okay, the fast healing is definitely worth the free notches. Alright, you should be dead by now.
Yeah, it's hard to say you love all Mario Party, because the Mario Parties are different. Okay, I can't... I don't think I can dash under here, but yeah. There's got to be a power-up somewhere where it's like, you can move in boiling water. Is this going to be a... Yep, boss rush. And by boss rush, I mean just a bunch of common enemies. Well, that wasn't too bad. Okay, this is screaming I'm about to get a power-up. This is screaming boss fight room. Yzma's Grove. Now we're in it, the Emperor's New Groove. Okay, this has got to be go through boiling water. Consumed Yzma's Tear. Acid shall be repelled. Swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. Knew that was... I knew this power-up was coming from, like, episode two. <laughs> It's brilliant, 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 I tell you! Brilliant! <laughs> I don't think that's the same way you spell Yzma, but... Kind of expected there to be a subway station around here. Maybe there's one past the uh, boiling water. <laughs> ah! Principal <Prince> MC! <laughs> Greatest plot twist of all was finding out Principal AMZ was actually Yzma. Who could have seen that one coming? You are free! Why would there be a subway station in the sewer? I don't know. Why is there a subway station in some guy's house? Just doesn't make a lot of sense. So is this like a new... Is this like a whole new world kind of situation? Or is this literally just a one-off area? <laughs> you hope you're right and poop guy is alive. <laughs> you know, of all the bosses to make a return, I would not be terribly upset if Poop Knight returned. He's probably one of the more memorable and amusing of the bosses in the game. <laughs> more broccoli? I wonder if this would open up more stuff in the green path area now that I can swim through acid. I would assume so, which means that... Oh, maybe that's what is needed to, uh... Maybe that's what's needed in order to get past that one area I keep coming across. Alright, well that's it for the sewers. I don't think there's anything left in the ancient basin, so we gotta just dip out. We gotta go to the bank. We can definitely top off our bank assets now. Didn't, didn't mommy ever tell you it was rude to stalk people, Potter? <laughs> Emperor's New Groove is funny, yes. And as long as they're one-off. Again, I still don't want people dumping the script to Emperor's New Groove in here. Because that, that accounts as spamming, which is against the rules of chat. Ah, no, stop jumping on my head. Oh yeah, I'm lost. Okay. Oh, we, we should probably hit the bench. That's probably a good idea. Bench is a bench. Map is updated. Yep, we explored everything over there. Cool. We can kiss the sewers goodbye. But don't actually kiss the sewers, because... Pretty sure that's gonna be bad germs. Um, it, that might... That might have been... Was, did you get an automatic warning, or did you get, like... I mean, I know I, get, I issued the warning, but... I issued the warning because he kept quoting the creepy scene from Pinocchio over and over again. Yep, 
Yeah, that can account as spamming. It's like, I remember back when the B-movie thing was becoming a meme. People were, like, inserting the B-movie script wherever they could. And it's like, that's really weird, and, uh... It's kind of, kind of, kind of a similar thing. There's a tip that looked like I could go down? Uh, let me go back. Yeah, I could go down to the Ancient Basin, but I think I've gone pretty much everywhere I can go in the Ancient Basin. Plus, that brings up bad memories of the uh, Lost Kin, so we ain't going back there. Hey, okay, I got the money in the bank. I'm gonna go to the bank and deposit my own money, and it's like, now you've increased the cap to 10,000, because you've proven yourself to be responsible with money. It's like, uh, just give me the thing. Yeah, we just don't want to post scripts in Twitch chat. As a general rule of thumb, I like keeping the Twitch chat at least semi close to what's happening in the actual stream. If it fits, I sit. Go from King Station to Queen Station. Are we overtime? Oh, as a matter of fact, we are just about overtime. But we have enough time to at least deposit the money and then buy the last mask shard, and we'll be in tip-top shape for the next stream, where we can go back to Green Path and start swimming in acid. Because that's, like in Sound of Music, one of my favorite themes. Alright, see you, Mobius. Thank you very much for joining in. Oh, hey! Bank Lady's gone! She's like, you have too much money! What the heck? Where did she go? She better be nearby. She didn't even leave a note. Didn't she learn that if you don't leave a note, uh, one a, a, a guy's gonna lose his arm? And that's why you always leave a note. If Mobius wants to see the penguins dancing, then he got, he's got to join the stream when it starts. I thought I could... I thought I, it wouldn't let me interact with her stand. Did she just take all my money? Did she wait for me to deposit a large amount of money and then run off with it? Going grandma hunting. See, this is why you don't trust banks. Trust banks. What is this? All right, Grandma, you going down? You going down? <laughs> hey, Robot King streams, welcome. Uh, we're about to finish up here tonight. We just had all of our money stolen from us by the bank lady, and I'm out on a grandma hunt. Because nobody steals, nobody steals from Creed Bratton and gets away with it. Oh, she's back on the bench. My savior's so close. 
Where did Grandma go? Very well in her adventures below. I had an adventure of my own while you were gone. I don't usually visit the town's graveyard, but I thought I'd go and visit the grave of an old friend. As I was walking amongst the tombstones, I noticed a strange kind of chanting coming from somewhere nearby. Extremely sinister chanting. I looked around to find the source, and I saw two bright, horrible, huge eyes staring at me from the door of a dark cave. Is that my ex-wife? I pretended I hadn't heard the voice or seen the eyes and scurried back to town. My friend will have to wait a little longer for the visit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, okay, yeah, so in context, there is a, like, a grandma bug who runs a bank, and who you can deposit money in her bank, and then withdraw it later, so that way if you lose, the, if you die, you don't lose all your money. So I put in almost all the money I could in the bank, came back to get it, she's gone, she ran off with all my money, so now I'm hunting down grandma to get my money back. Well, let's at least buy the mask shard. We might need it. Grandma could be a tough old bird. Max HP! Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, she made that little noise like, Oh, he's here! I'm here for as long as you want, baby. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Well... I hate to end the stream there, because we just had some excitement at the end, but I guess this gives us a hook for what's going to happen next time. Next time, we're not paying attention to the main story anymore. We're hunting down this stupid grandma who stole my money. I, you, don't you don't do that. You don't do that. <laughs> Stealing is bad, alright? <laughs> I mean, so is killing innocent people who you come across while you uh, are playing the game. But that's beside the point. <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, is she supposed to- I don't know! This is blind! I've never played this before! <laughs> I'm just annoyed because people are like, Oh, you should definitely deposit your money for Grandma. You get a special reward if you do. My reward was getting my money stolen. I will find her. Grandma, you can run. You can hide, but I will reach you. I will find you. And I am well trained with my nail arts. And I will beat you up. So yeah! Thank you all for joining in. Next time is going to be an exciting stream. We'll be continuing this on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then this weekend, we will be going back to Donkey Kong Country Free uh, Hard Mode. So that's also something to look forward to. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless. If you see Grandma, you let me know. <laughs> I mean it. If you see Grandma hanging around, I want to know where she is. I want to talk to her.